Good morning, Jackets. I'm Robin Hearn. And I'm Walker Sosa. And this is Jacket TV. A reminder that Wednesday is Fair Day. Teachers, the students' tickets are in your mailbox ready to be passed out. Gather's first ever meeting is tomorrow at 4 o'clock in room 2301. Spanish Club's first meeting is tomorrow after school from 4 to 420 in Ms. Walker's room. Snacks and drinks will be provided. Due to high demand, the Hi Cyber Patriot Club has added a fourth competition team. If you inquired about Cyber Patriots and were told it was full, please stop by and register with them today. RHS Cheer will be selling pink out shirts during lunches starting tomorrow, September 29th through, through the whole month of October. Long sleeve shirts are 20 and short sleeve shirts are 10. The Singrats will also be selling pink out shirts online this month with unique designs for guys and girls. The price of both shirts are $12. Comic Book Club has a meeting tomorrow, 8 a.m. in Coach Williams' room, 2506. We will be voting for Sweetheart and Escort for Homecoming Parade. It's Monday, so we have Officer Woodruff in the studio to talk with us. Good morning, Jackets. I want to address an issue regarding fighting and assault. In the school environment like ours, the two words have very different definitions. Legally, the correct charge for fighting is disorderly conduct called mutual combat. If two or more people discuss and engage in a fight willingly, everyone involved could face school, school and possibility criminal consequences, and that includes anyone present taking video. Assault is when a person is struck without any warning and either does not have the opportunity to fight back or chooses to get away from the person committing the assault. There are two kinds of assault. One is Class C offense, basically like a traffic ticket where the fine could be $300 to $500. An example would be if somebody slapped you or pushed you and no injury was present. The more serious offense is the assault Class A misdemeanor. This is when a person is struck multiple times and experiences pain or injury. Depending on the severity of the injury, the person is charged with this type of offense may may be arrested and detained and will most likely be referred to juvenile probation if 16 or younger or to the district attorney's office if 17 or older. Basically what I'm saying is if you get yourself into evol involved in a fight without making any attempt to find a teacher or another staff, you will be held just as responsible as the person who started it. And words are not a legitimate reason to begin a fight or assault anyone. I know this is short, so you have any, if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Remember, the deadline for Crime Stoppers application is tomorrow afternoon. Come by my door and pick it up. Thank you, that's all. Thanks, Officer Woodruff. Congratulations to the Rockwall Orange Wave Drumline and Front Assemble for placing eighth out of 17th in their division at the Plano Drumline Competition. They received the top 10 award and received caption award nominations for the best front assembly, best tenor lines, and best bass line. This was the first year for the Drumline and Front Ensemble to attend a Drumline competition, and they did a fantastic job representing the band and Rockwell High School. This Saturday, the Orange Wave Band travels to Mustang, Oklahoma to compete in their first marching competition of the season. The band performs at 4 p.m. in prelims. If they score high enough after prelims, they will perform again in finals later that evening. Didn't get enough sleep last night? Try laughing for 15 minutes. It gives you the same health benefits as getting two extra hours of sleep. That's all we have for today. I'm Walker Sosa. And I'm Robin Hearn, and this has been Jacket TV. See you tomorrow, RHS.